In the previous video, I showed you how to use port-to-port -port desktop, together with the Ectis route file converter, to generate voyage distances, identify various maritime zones, and convert routes into different Ectis formats so they can be used on different Ectis models. As I explained earlier, after generating a route, the software allows export only in RTZ format. That's why we need the Ectis route file converter to convert RTZ files into other formats. Since the only Ectis software I currently have on my PC is OpenCPN, which supports GPX files, I converted the route into GPX before importing it. In this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to get and set up both applications. For OpenCPN, I already made a separate video tutorial about this open source software. You may check the link in the description to watch that full guide. Let's start by downloading the Ectis Route Manager. Open your browser and search for Ectis Route Manager. You'll find several websites offering the download. But I prefer using this site because it provides a secure connection. The latest version available is 1.9.03, updated on October 19, 2025. Next, click on Free Download. Then, left-click here to begin downloading the file. Once the download is complete, open the folder. The file is in a zip format. I'll create a new folder on my desktop where we can extract its contents. Extract the zip files into this folder. There is no installation required for this software. It runs directly once extracted. This is the application. Let's send it to the desktop and create a shortcut so that we have fast access. Let's open it. If a security warning appears like this, select More Info, then click Run Anyway. This is the interface of the Actus Route Manager. Before I show you how to use it, let's download the port-to-port -port desktop application first. The installation kit is uploaded to my Google Drive. If you're interested, the download link is available in the description and in the comments section below. Once you've downloaded it, you'll see that it comes as a RAR file. Go ahead and extract it. This is the extracted folder. Remember the folder name because we will need it later. Let's open the folder. The first folder at the top contains the installation application. Unlike the route converter, which can be used immediately after extraction, this software needs to be installed. Open the first folder, and you'll see the installer. Run the application. A dialog box will appear. Check this box to agree to the license terms and conditions, then click Install. The installation process will now begin. Once it's completed successfully, close the dialog box. A shortcut is now created on your desktop, but do not open it yet. We need to do one more step before launching the software. Go to the extracted folder. Open the second folder. Then copy this file. Next, go to Drive C and locate the installation directory. In my case, it's inside Program Files 86-bit. Open it. Then find and open the folder created during installation. This is the folder. Open it. Open the folder with file name port to port and paste the file we copied earlier. Here it is, successfully pasted. Now we can open the port to port desktop.
If notification like this appeared, just close it. As you can see, this software is already outdated, but still usable. This software was updated until June of 2019, meaning any changes made after June of 2019, such as ECHA zones, piracy zones, Joint War Committee piracy areas, and other maritime boundaries will not be reflected here. So always verify all the latest updates using your onboard publications. Now, let's tick the ECA Zones checkbox and click Scan. These green shaded areas are the ECA Zones. The Mediterranean Sea is supposed to appear green because its ECA designation became legally effective on 1st of May 2024 with a one year transition period. The 0.10% sulfur limit inside the Mediterranean ECA became mandatory on 1st of May 2025. Since this software is outdated, Mediterranean ECA is not shaded with green. Let's try generating a sample route. Assuming the port of origin is Tokyo, Japan, and the port of destination is Kenai LNG Terminal in Alaska. The software automatically generates a route with a rough distance of 3,429 nautical miles. Let's tick these checkboxes for maritime boundaries. I will not elaborate on every feature here because I already discussed them in detail in my previous video. If you're new to this channel and want to learn more about Port to Port Desktop, you can check the full tutorial linked in the description below. If you want to view the waypoints, simply tick the Waypoints checkbox. These are the generated primary waypoints for the route. This waypoint marks the entry to the ECA zone. The load line zones are also indicated. These orange shaded areas are the areas to be avoided. When we zoom in, you can see that the route avoids these areas automatically. These white shaded areas with a blue outline represent the international navigational limits. These boundaries are defined by insurers and regulatory bodies and indicate regions where additional restrictions insurance requirements, or vessel class limitations may apply because of higher navigational risks, such as ice or severe weather. Let's export this route, which is in RTZ format. We will then convert it using Route Converter so that the route can be imported into different ECDIS models. This is the exported route in RTZ format. Now let's convert it into a different file format since the only ECTIS installed on my PC is OpenCPN, which accepts GPX files, we will convert the RTZ route into GPX format. Let's open the ECTIS Route Manager. Go to File, then select Open. Here is the RTZ file we exported. Select it and click Open. To convert this route, Go again to File, then click Save As. This dialog box will appear. Choose your desired folder path. I'll save it on my desktop. Let's rename the file to tokyo kanai converted Next, click the Format Selection box. As you can see, it can be converted into different ECDIS file formats, such as Transys, Furuno, eGlobe, JRC, Kongsberg, and other ECTIS models. But since OpenCPN accepts only GPX, we'll select GPX and then click Save. Here is the route converted into GPX format. Now let's import it to OpenCPN. Go to Route and Mark Manager. This dialog box will appear. At the bottom, click Import GPX. Find the GPX file we just converted, select it, and click Open. The route is now imported into Ectus. Left-click on it, then click OK. 
the imported route is now displayed on the screen. Let's check it. From here, you can edit the route according to your appraisal, company policies, and navigational guidelines. That's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.